Uh, in the first test, you can see from DigiLabs, which is the animal uh, photograph and then imposed on the ult uh, uh, ultimate uh, imp uh, impositioning tool and down to the Canon printer. Uh, cut and crease on the Duplo DC645. Now the final state is the book block assembly. You can see here, the product is uh, glue back to back. Uh, sheet to sheet, this is printing simplex. We're doing one up. And this process here, uh, this is the only labor intensive section. This product is still is new. Uh, the market for this application is still is new. Uh, there's, a, there's not a lot of uh, manufacturer that has a full uh, uh, automation product to assemble photo books. Uh, what we're doing here is, is when the product is glued, we would then take this product and take over to our compressor. Okay, this is the compactor. Once it's glued, the product has to dry. Uh, it takes about two hours for, to dry, but you can do as many books as the compressor can hold. So in this case here, uh, we simply put a chipboard between each sheet, okay? to keep the sheet separated. And once we do that, we would then label into the compressor, close it. Then we leave it there to dry. This is air dry uh, for at least two hours. Once that process is done, we would then go to the next phase, which is then uh, what we could do is we make the hard cover. And I'm gonna take you to that next step. Okay, this is the cover, again, printed on the Canon, designed on DigiLab, in post, uh, with the uh, ultimate uh, input strip tool. Uh, it's also, uh, we can either laminate or UV coat the, uh, the cover to uh, have that durability. Uh, we want, this is a, a, a memory photo album, so we want the cover to last as long as the, uh, 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 the memory itself. So, uh, in this stage here, we're, a, a custom built a heart case and this process auto looks labor intensive uh, but uh, right now uh, this is the only method that uh, uh, that is available today the only technology that's available today to assemble a custom photo book uh, and you can see the process here making a photo book this is uh, the the system has a an air bed so once the, the material is laid on uh, to the, uh, the case maker, he would then align the center, put uh, the appropriate uh, chipboard on there, and the process starts. Now again, this the, the, the customer uh, can uh, uh, the, uh, actually, the photo lab services can do this while the, uh, the book block is uh, uh, air dry. An average time to make a, a, a custom cover, we're looking at uh, uh, a two or three minute work. Again, this is the third step of the process. So one, once that is done, the next step is to put the book together. This is the area where we assemble the book. Uh, once the book is dry, this is, this is when it comes out from the uh, compactor. Once this is dry, this is just the book block, okay? We now have to marry this product to the hardcover we just designed. So, this is a, um, uh, I can tell you that the Japanese, they thought of everything. <laughs> uh, it's a little tool that uh, able to align the book block center to the cover. So what he's doing here is the, the tape that you see around is, uh, they're basically a, a double-sided tape that's been put on uh, right after the, the, the uh, uh, compacting stage. And once that is done, uh, we can then uh, marry the cover to the, uh, the book block.
All right, now we have a, a complete finished product. You can see the first stage is a design stage from uh, DigiLab and uh, completely done. Uh, you can see the quality of the book. And here we have a workflow that we're, uh, uh, this, this is, we call it a credit page that we uh, post our partners, the solution, how it works, how, how this, is, this is put together. You can see the photo album is just beautiful. It's, uh, the, the image quality on that C1 press is just incredible.